welcome back to another video. I know, I know, don't come at me. It's been a few years since my previous video. And honestly, I would love to tell you where I've been the last few years, but that is not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is vintage Halloween finds. And that's what drew you to this video, am I right? I just know that I love Halloween. It's one of my favorite seasons and those that are watching this video obviously love it too. So I want to sit here and share with you my recent humongous tote that I scored. And it's been a couple days, I have not actually looked through everything and I'm really excited and I'm very impatient at this point. So if you want to watch me open this up for the first time and see what's inside, then keep watching. Alright guys, so yes, I scored this amazing, humongous tote. I found somebody on OfferUp, if you don't know what OfferUp is, an app, um, it's kind of like Craigslist where you can sell and buy things, but I found somebody who was selling some of their old vintage Halloween things, and I'm be I'll be completely transparent with you. This tote... The gentleman wanted $300 for, and I just was like, no, 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 no. I am not paying $300, but I did offer him two, and he accepted. So thank you, gentlemen. If you're out there watching this, thank you. You made my day, and I'm so excited to see what's inside because I did briefly see a couple things, obviously, from the pictures that he had posted and did my research on some of those items, and it's definitely well worth $200. So I am really, really excited to open it up. Most likely this will be a two-part video, um, just so we don't drag this out. So once I do upload the other video, I will link that down below for you guys, so you can check that out as well. So, I need to stop my blabbing and let's open this up. First thing, it looks like a lot of um, die cuts. So, this little pumpkin man, he's got his little retractable arms and stuff. This is from the Bicel Company. Um, it's right there. There is no date, um, but if I can find the dates for these, I will um, put them on the screen here so that you can see. This definitely looks like a vintage piece. I know that the Bicel Company did do a reproduction of a lot of their Halloween die cuts, but this definitely looks vintage. Um, it is, you know, it does have, he's got a missing foot, there's a lot of tape on here, um, and it's not in the greatest condition, but honestly, stuff like this doesn't really bother me too much, as long as it's not like highly damaged um, to the point where you don't know what it is. So this is a pretty cool find. I like this. Moving on. It looks like we have, oh, we have two of these. We've got a deuce. Well, we got, look, 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 look. Oh my goodness! This is from the Bicel Company as well. How adorable. These little scarecrows. These are super cool. Oh my goodness. Does the leg come? Oh, there it goes. There's a leg. There you go. See if you can see. How adorable. Got a little arm. So I've got two of these. Moving on. Wow, this is super cute. We have a witch on her broomstick. And this is the Bicel Company as well. Super cute. Love that. I've definitely seen this before. This is one of those um, opens up situations. The honeycomb. And they got the little pumpkin down here. This is so freaking cute. You know, there's just something about these that just, I don't know. Isn't that adorable? And we've got some tissue paper. Sick. Alright, we got another Halloween find here. Okay, wow, this is so cool. Look at the little, it's got like little felt on here. I love, the, these ones I feel like are a little newer. 
Um, I'm not seeing a manufacturer on here. But the felt ones, I'm, I'm pretty sure those aren't super old. But this is super cool. Like, I just love the spooky house. That is super, super cool. Look, there's a little bat. Little bat friend. Super cute. Okay, this looks like the Bicel Company. Or no, what is this? That, I don't know. I mean, it looks like Bicel for sure, but this is really old. This one's a really cool one. Little witch. That is super cool. I love that. That is really, lo I just love the il illustration of it. Like the colors and the illustration. And it's almost like indentated, like it, there's like an indentation on some of these parts, which is really interesting. And we have Mr. Skeleton here. We have a little skeleton die cut. It's super cute. This looks very um, newer. Someone got this from Goodwill for 97 cents. Look at these. Wow. Look at these three. Oh, wow. Look. These are old for sure. Little happy, happy, happy jack-o'-lanterns. It's like the colors of them. It almost just, it just looks old. It feels old. It smells old. We have another little jack-o'-lantern scarecrow situation here. And I'm not seeing a name on this one as well, but this one is super cute. Look at the illustration on this one. A little faded on that side but if you flip it over it has, it's double-sided this is a bisol company it's so weird because it says bisol like right down there it's like the teeniest tiniest little spot but it's really cute I've never seen these before I'm so happy that I found this guy like seriously I mean I think this is well worth $200 all this stuff. and there's so much more in this tote there's this like Lake Banner situation. Looks like there was something that was supposed to be there. And there's also another one. Unless this one. I'm not sure if it went on here. But we have another banner. Torn banner. Here's another one. So I'm wondering if these all went to a banner. That's super cute. I don't make stuff like this anymore. And look at that. So cute. We got this little pumpkin doodad. So yeah, I'm wondering if these were a part of something like this. Looks like we got a little hat. Look, Coop. My cat's here. Coopy cat's here. This is the Bicel Company. This is a little party hat. This is so cute. This is definitely old, guys. Look. How freaking adorable. Oh my god. Sick. Cupy! That is super cute. Look at the illustration on that. You got owls and spiders and bats and skulls and witches, scarecrows. So, so cool. That is really neat. That's a good one. Here's Mr. Cube Cat. <laughs> With this little tombstone situation going on right there. And these feel somewhat new. They almost look like they were punched out of something. Oh, this is a Hallmark. Hallmark. This is Bicel Company. With the, the castle. With the drawbridge. And the ghosts. Love that. No name on these, but look, they're little felt. Look how cute. Koopy. They're little felt Koopy cats with pumpkins. Love that. Looks like we got lots of witch decals. This is the Bicel Company. 
This looks like a newer one. Spooky Witch. So this is another Bicel, I'm assuming. Uh, now this is Eureka. This side's a little bit better. The other side's a little faded. Okay, this is the Bicel Company. Yes, these look very new. That one's super cute, though. The witch with her cat. <laughs> what is this? Oh. So this must have been the, um, the packaging for the decals. And um, this looks fairly new, but um, no date. So it could be old. Um, the, it's got the Happy Halloween on the back. On the front, it shows you, I guess, everything that's in the package that you get. But here's one of the things that says that was in that's in it. I mean, it looks fairly like old, but that looks like it's definitely one with the skeleton face. Get another scary face. See, look. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. But, this one looks way new. Okay, I think this is a reproduction. And this is a vintage. I mean, just look at the backs. Look how new this one looks in white. And look how faded and weathered. Even the front, you know, this one looks fairly new. The hole isn't even punched at the top. And then this one is tattered and it's got tape on it and everything like that. So I'm going to assume that this is a vintage and this is a reproduction. So here's one from Ambassador Cards. So cute. Three little jack-o'-lanterns. Love that. Got another kitty cat decal. This is the Bicel Company. There is a slight tear in this one, but still manageable. I'm not hating. This one looks very, very old. Love that. Love it. I love the older they are, the just the cooler they look. And like I said, it has that, that indentation on it. And the colors are beautiful. This one almost looks like a reproduction, but I could be wrong. There is a slight tear in his arm, but we've got a little spider doodad. This is the Vysel Company as well, but look how freaking adorable. Oh my goodness! I love that! So cute! <laughs> Alright, we have a little... He's like a little white bat behind a moon. That's super different. I've never seen that. All right. Got some Thanksgiving decals. Or die cuts. Decals, die cuts, whatever. A turkey. That's cool. I love Thanksgiving, so that I will definitely be using. I don't know who makes this, but... Love that. Love the colors. Love the art. This is a Hallmark, yes. Little kitty cat with his little pumpkin and his little mousy friend. No name. But you could have bought this from uh, Nicole's for 29 cents. God knows when. <laughs> How cool. Little spooky ghost Jack Lantern guy with his little owl friend. That is cute. Another little kitty cat with his Jack Lantern. That one's so cute. No, Koopy, it's you. Yeah. Trick or treat. No, oh, you're such a good boy. Another Hallmark with his little mouse ghost friend. This is a Hallmark as well. This one is so different. Look at his little treat bag. That's cute. All right, we got something big here, guys. Got something big. Woo! This kind of looks similar to the first one, but it's definitely different. Um, different coloring, looks very faded. And this is also the Bicel Company. Um, got some damage, but that don't, that don't bother me. This one's missing his foot as well. 
but that is so cool. I, I kind of like it. Like, it's got, like, some water stains or something going on there. I mean, when you can find them in really good condition, that's great. Um, and those types of pieces you want to maybe frame or really keep out of the sunlight and stuff. But um, things like this, no problemo. So we have a Happy Halloween. Love that. Uh, we got one of these. This definitely is a reproduction from the Bicel. That's probably what was in that, that container with the, you know, with the description on it and the skeleton. But this one, see it has the, the honeycomb haystack. This must be from the same collection of the reproductions. Okay. Got some spooky ghosts with some chains. Look at the face on that a candle. <laughs> That's funny. This is a little teddy bear bandit in a little costume. So I'm going to end the video here. But stay tuned for part two, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe so you can also get the notification for that second video. And thanks for hanging out with me, and finally getting to see all these amazing things. But there's also more, so stay tuned. I'll see you later, guys.